fate and circumstance has called us to this point. How we deal with it and how we get beyond it will depend on our grit, our resolve, and our belief that no mountain is insurmountable. I want to just take a moment to be deliberately redundant and to say to Governor Westmore how much we appreciate your leadership, your stewardship, and your friendship. He will be here in just a second to address all of you, but I can say, as I've said every day that I've been here, this is the best team that I think any t state could put in place to deal with a tragedy like this. I want to certainly thank President Biden, who called many of us just hours after this occurred to pledge in an unwavering way his support, his dedication, his commitment, his resolve to making sure that this bridge is rebuilt again, that these channels are open to commerce again, that the men and women of the unions, particularly the longshoremen and all of the independent businesses and others who have depended on this means of commerce will in fact survive again. I would be remiss if I did not say a word once about the Unified Command, the Coast Guard and the Army Corps of Engineers, who are right now, as we speak, doing what they must do with 51 divers in place under the bridge and over the bridge, helping to bring about the change that we are all waiting for. And I would be equally remiss if did I did not lift for our collective memories those persons that died on that bridge, those families that watch these proceedings and whose hearts break every night those children who will never know their father as their father knew them, and to all of us who recognize that it could have been any of us, we pray to God Almighty that there is some sense of closure to all of this. So these are difficult, daring times, but we believe that we've got the right grit here in Baltimore and throughout the state of Maryland to deal with that. And may I just say also, lest we ever forget, this port is so significant to the nation that we love. I call on my friends, my colleagues in the Congress to see this as a national tragedy, to recognize that supply lines all over this nation could be disrupted, to understand the severe effect that this would have on our economy, and to recognize as we are just a couple of miles away from where the Star Spangled Banner was written out there, right where that bridge stands, that at the end of the day, we are Americans. Black, white, Jew, Gentile, Asian, Latino, Native American, men and women who have always risen to the challenge. Let me, if I might, bring to this microphone a member of the United States Senate from the state of Maryland, our junior senator, who will soon be our senior senator, and someone like the person that he will introduce is fighting the good fight for all of us in the United States Senate. Please welcome Senator Chris Van Hollen.